Hi, peoples, I'm back. And um, uh, this time, I, I do have a, a few uh, primary elements left, but I don't think I'm going to be using those. It is a pretty color, has a really beautiful sheen, but I want to do a... Um, because, you know, I've been thinking, I haven't been getting those beautiful cells I really wanted. And then I was thinking, well, why is that happening all of a sudden? And then I thought, well, I think it's because I'm not watching out if I have opaque and transparent colors mixed together in the mix. So I have now, I'm looking if I have still have some of those really cheap canvases, which I don't see right now. Well, this is one of them, but I was looking for a more smaller one just to do a tiny pour to see how that works. I will, let's see. I had a whole lot of those really tiny little canvases, but I think I've uh, used them all. So can't do that. Then the only thing I have left is to pour on this. It'll have to be. So I'm going to start with the most dense like I usually did but then I'm gonna come in with some uh, transparent colors this one is transparent this one is transparent transparent and this one is that's a lot of blues and I think I'll just use this oh but I gotta fill it up because this uh, canvas is a little bit bigger So I'll just do that. I think that'll be enough. I'm not going to stir in the cup anything. Just do this. There we go. I'm getting the last of it out of the cup. Whoops, that's a little bit too much already going over the side. Just making this wet so it'll go a little bit faster. There it goes. Letting it come down. And I will be very curious how this uh, torches. And it's still not over the edge. Come on. Go over the edge. There it goes. Okay, we got some big blotches. Get my little cloth for my hands. But... As I said, this is only a, a really cheap canvas, and um, I'm just trying to see what the colors are going to do. Yeah, this is pretty much how I um, how I thought they'd do. See how beautifully this sells up. Yeah, these are beautiful cells. So I think it uh, does have something to do with um, the transparent and the opaque. And right now I'm going to make something to put something interesting on the canvas because this, is, um, this isn't that interesting. Put some white in there. Give it a little stir. But these, uh, these cells are beautiful. Then I'm going to try some ribbons. 
let's see, very tiny ones. Letting them get a little bit bigger. And the only thing that I don't like is when you do the ribbons and you start to move them, then all the uh, other stuff moves also. So that's sort of something you can't avoid. But this is a test, so who cares? You gotta do some testing sometimes, right? Oops. That is really pretty, this. Let's see if we can do that again up here. Got to put it on pretty thick. Like that. And make it go down. Yeah, that is pretty. And I'm going to torch it just in a minute. Up here, that is pretty. Everything is kind of pretty on this one. That is something I've been looking for for a long time. I'm trying to get it a little bit bigger. So it really adds to the painting. Love these colors. We could do that again. Now let's see what happens. I'm just going to keep it up high. And just let the warmth do its thing. And the, the higher you keep your torch, the uh, longer it takes for the effects to come. And I'm going to get you guys down in a bit. Because I'm seeing some beautiful, beautiful things happening. And what I'm sort of thinking is that maybe we should do something a little different with the, with the heat. I'm going to think about that. I'll, I'll give you a close-up and tell you what I'm thinking about. Okay, look at this. Look at those beautifully formed cells. They are really pretty. These uh, bottom ones. This is, for me, the ultimate uh, cells. And I don't mind this because I like that. This has a lot of uh, things all incorporated into one painting. It has the swirly stuff going on, it has the cells, it has up here, this is what I really like, that, that green and blue. See, it has a lot of uh, things going on for it. Let me get it in focus. There you are. Yep. Let me put you back up here in the middle, getting you at focus. So this, this I really, really like. That is beautiful. And I, what I'm thinking is, you know, instead of a torch, what kind of electrical thing is there that, you know, penetrates heat but doesn't move the air like... Even the torch moves air sometimes. I'm looking for some sort of a thing that is warm. Like a light bulb. Something, a, a really a high watt, watt a light bulb. Because they get pretty hot. And you can put it really close to the paint. And see that, you know, it pulls up the silicone like it did here. 
because these are the, the cells I'm really looking for and I wish I could make this these cells every single time because they are really pretty okay oops gotta get a little little brush to fix the sides a little bit just here and there and not much let's see there it's all covered the front is covered almost the whole thing there we go a little bit more paint on here then I want to turn it around yep we got some here there we go now everything's covered, yep. I make sure to touch it on the bottom. Well, this is all gonna stay. This is gonna stay. Nothing is gonna be, um... wow, I really like that too. I can't help it, but I do. I uh, wish that was there too. Hmm, okay. I am going to try to make at least a picture of this. So I'm going to stop the video right now and go straight to uh, the macro macro settings on my camera. And uh, I'll be back after this one with, I think, one more pour today. So thank you for watching, people. Thank you for all your very, very kind comments. Yes, I really, really appreciate people, you know, just um, thinking about what all that social media does, and I hope that, oh, there's someone at the door. Okay, gotta go. Bye-bye.